Welcome back, everybody, to part two of the Ultimate Eight Pagan Walkthrough. I'm your host, Zachary. So here we are again, back in the entrance of Terrabin, and we are going to get some money first. And how are we going to get money? Steal it. I mean, that's how you do things in Pagan. I mean, this game basically is when Avatar is at his evilest. Let's go steal some money, and I know where a large sum is right now. Giant rock mushrooms. This big house right here with the barrier. This is Salkin's house. The temple. Soon, is... I shall be able to call. Yeah, leave me alone, guardian. Nobody likes you. So go into this big house right here. It's pretty easy to see. It's huge. Oh, look who's home. The douchebag. So just go over to this face right here. You. Yay. Got the key. Alright. You got the key. You didn't see me. Good. Go over here into this door. There's a bedroom where all the naughties happen. And there's a switch over here. Press that. And move this. No, move this. There we go. And remember, add all the keys to the key ring. Holds unlimited amount. Alright, we got both keys and the switches hit. Now we're gonna unlock this door. Alright, and we're gonna unlock this chest. And, oh, it's a trap. What a surprise. Well, we got some goodies. We'll just use the scroll of restoration to recover ourselves. Alrighty, and, um, let's take some goodies. Coins? Another 100 obsidian coins, not gold coins, obsidian, you know. And another 100. And of course, we're gonna need some bags. But for now, we'll just take two bags. I'm not a big fan of carrying scrolls around since they're really useless once you get magic. So we don't need them. Okay, got 300 bucks. That's pretty good for now. Yeah, here we got some money. Now let's make our avatar look a little armier. We got the nice helmet, but let's equip that. And how are we gonna get this armor? By stealing! And by finding and by buying some. So we'll mix it all. Let's head up. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Here. It's a bottle of ale. And go into this house. This is where that night guy lives. Good. Go to the fireplace, hit the switch. I wish YOLO was here to steal this stuff for me. <laughs> I was uh, watching Kakashi's Ultimate 7 playthrough and it was quite funny. Hit this switch. Well, I didn't actually hit that switch. Move the clock. Jesus. There we go. Another key. What is this key for? It's for the goodies. On um, the key ring it goes. Put this back. Hit the switch again, because I'm gonna wanna leave. And go through his dresser like any good citizen would. And what do we have here? More money! 15 coins, what a cheapskate. Alright, let's open up this chest now. Oh, we're in a trap chest. God, these things are everywhere. Alright. Well, we finally got some iron leggings. That's good. What's in the backpack? Ooh, potions. Can't have enough red and yellow potions. We'll need the orange potions for quite a while, but uh, we'll take some. And I don't like to put those. A little bit. We use the bedroll. This thing is super useful. Alrighty. We got some leggings. Now we should complement it with some other armor. Da, 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 da. I hate these controls, they can be really annoying. Go up and about. Oh, let's head in this direction. This is the poor side of the city, but some reason the blacksmith is here. I don't get that. Oh, and the executioner, but I don't think she's poor. Alright, it's open! Yay! 
Now what we could do is we could take a nap in here and steal all that stuff, but I don't really need to, because this stuff is super cheap even for the iron goods, so. Fair greens. Green to you, buddy. Uh, I'd like to buy something. Uh, armor. I definitely need some armed guards. Eleven coins. Here's the amount. I need more armor. Uh, shield. Yes. There we go. I just paid pretty much not even 30 bucks for two good pieces of armor. This game seems widely unbalanced. Alright. Look at me now. I'm looking pretty spiffy. But now let's get some body armor. I'm not talking about the armor of the guard Jews. That's crap. There's some good chain armor in a waterfall cave this way. Another secret I discovered while playing Pagan in my free time. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's a ghoul. Let's not mess with him because I only have a dagger. I don't know what just happened. And here we go. Oh, sweet Jesus. Totally back. Here. Go there. Oh, bugs! Pass than anything else. This chest is not trapped. I don't know why. Alright, we're gonna replace this with this beautiful thing and some chain armor. And a red potion. Oh, ooh, some reagents. Now, these reagents are coming handy very soon in the game because I will have to become a necromancer. Yes, I know, it sounds pretty emo, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in Pagan. Black more, why not? Oh, two pieces. Okay, we're done with that chest. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here. So I'm not sure how long it's been running, I'll have to keep a time next time, but stay tuned. We go back to town, get some more goods, and get ready to start the storyline. Thank you all for watching.